This is a reminder that our October Troyberry Challenge is wrapping up soon. So by midnight on the 31st, you need to have scanned this QR code and then entered in all of the sports, horror, or teacher's favorites Troyberries that you have read this month. So they have to have been read this month in October. Next month, our challenge is going to be to read mystery and adventure books, as well as we're going to keep the teacher's favorite. So starting next week in November, you can be checking out Troy Berry's that are mystery and adventure books, and we'll have a new QR code for that. I will also be announcing some winners over Schoology next week. I'm going to randomly draw names out of all the people who have scanned these QR codes and participated in it this month. Now I have to tell you, that Bolin right now is in the lead, but Smith is quickly catching up, and Larson is also up there. So let's keep Bolin as number one with the number of Troy Berries red. Great job, guys. Weather report, today's rain is likely with a high of 47 degrees with winds of five to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rainfall is 100% and we expect a half of inch of rain. Football season is officially over. Congrats on a good season. It's no lunch today due to the half day. This day in 1735, John Adams was born. Adams was the son of a farmer and a descendant of Plymouth Rock Pilgrims. He enrolled in Harvard University at 16 and went on to go ch teach school and study law before becoming America's second president. Adams did not fight in the Revolutionary War, but was instrumental in crafting the foundation of the American government. His birthdays are Raina B., Ande L., and Emily P. Happy birthday!